right? So this is the point, guys, is environment, engage, and push forward. Push forward is picking up on those little cues that the girl talks about, so then you can engage. Now the conversation gets a little bit more interesting to her. Seduction does not happen until you create trust, until you create comfort and attraction, which is the first thing. Now I wanna be very clear on the type of seduction that women crave before I actually give you the insides of the things that we crave. And before we get there is to understand that you can't lead into seduction without trust. You can't lead into seduction without comfort. You can't lead into seduction without attraction as well. And a lot of times when we go into, okay, we've been taught by things that probably we've been listened to as the wrong information is as a woman myself, and this has happened to me, and I'm going to give you a personal experience here is I might give my number to a guy and we conversate and all of a sudden he tries to lead into seduction. And typically when men do this is because they're not educated in the right way. And what happens to a woman is it scares us off because our first thing means it's unsafe. And as you men know, as many of you as subscribers know, one of my biggest things that I tell you, and I try to have you understand how to nurture a woman, but in a way to make her feel safe and also to hold yourself accountable so you don't get taken advantage of because that's the last thing that I want for you and my viewers. And this is what I talk about in a lot of my uh, videos. But before we get carried away on that, what's really important here is to understand that seduction can only be played when you create that trust within you and her, the female to male and the male to female. Now, one of the big things too is you don't want to use these in a manipulative tactic, okay guys? These videos that I do for you, obviously, because I know the community is amazing here on this channel and it's growing significantly. I have such an amazing, amazing community of men. Like, ugh, I'm just so taken back by how amazing you guys are. But at the same time, I don't intend for these to be used as manipulative purposes because this is the truth and I'm giving you the honest thing and opinion in regards to how and what makes us crave seduction from a man. So before we get into that, I'm going to be clear once again, seduction does not happen until you create trust, until you create comfort and attraction, which is the first thing. And I talk a lot about this in my No More Friend Zone product and how to create that attraction and get that mindset overall that women crave and desire. Now let's get into it. A lot of times when we think seduction, we think S-E-X, right? Sex. And it's not that. Seduction is in the, I like to call seduction, the foreplay of emotional connection, right? Because when we think of seduction, we think physically, right? I gotta kiss her, I gotta hold her hand, I gotta rub her weight back of her waist, I gotta show her that I'm a man, and I gotta take the lead in this stuff. But that's not how you lead into seduction, guys. That is actually can be very, that's a very big red light for a woman if you haven't done these things, that tactics that I'm gonna give you. Now, the number one thing too, in regards to leading to seduction and what women crave is we crave that connection through communication. I'm gonna break down what I mean by this, is you make things interesting on a date, right? And you go back and forth with communication. Women are not looking for a man that agrees with us all the time. Women are not looking for us to tell you what we believe and what you should be doing. Women are looking for connection in a way where you can disagree at times and share your opinion. Women are also looking for someone that they can learn from, if, even if they want to admit it or not. And women, I know I don't have a lot of you viewers on this channel, but comment below because men need to understand and we got to get real with men in order to understand because there's so many women out there that are complaining about men and there's so many men complaining about women too, but at the end of the day, what we have to understand is we have to master the human psychology behind this and stop being lazy in regards to not understanding what this means. So mastering communication on your dates means, does not mean I'm just gonna show up and see what happens. Do you say that a job interview? Do you say that at, what do you, if you're a CEO in a position, a big position, do you say I'm just gonna show up to work and see what happens? No, you go in there with a the plan, you've already articulated yourself, you set goals, you've studied, you've understand different employees possibly and different uh, companies that you have to pitch to or work with. What makes you think that you can't do the same thing within your lives and relationships and love? And this is where we get lazy and this is where we get our heart broken. We get into toxic relationships. We get confused. Then we place blame and then we go into victim standpoint because we're not educating ourselves. 
And so why I get so big on this is because communication is the key to educating. And so once we get open with communication and we look at someone in front of us is let me see what she has to offer me as well as she can do the same for me. So going back and forth in regards to asking her deeper questions, which I have specifically made for you guys to help you out. It's called my 20 question manual to get to know a woman's true self. And in there I have, it's free. I have 20 questions for you to ask a woman. Typically I ask you to do some of these on the second or third date because this is where you deeper a connection. Now type of seduction women crave number two is you show interest, but you understand balance. Okay. So there is something that I like to call in my ebook that I talk about is you dive in three feet of water, but you don't swim to the deep end because you have to swim into, you have to swim to the deep end in order to dive right back in. Right. But what we're doing and dating in relationships is we're diving head in first and just giving everybody our all. And we expect someone to fulfill a need that we haven't been able to fill within ourselves. So the reason why I say this is because when we go into relationships and we aren't invested in ourselves, we tend to show interest or attach, which I have a lot of videos about codependency and things like that and love addiction and things like that. But we tend to attach and we show interest without understanding balance of interest, right? So I always say this too in some of my coaching sessions with men when they just really need me to break it down for them. And I'm going to do it here with you is I want you to picture your best friend. Who is your best friend in your life right now? Okay. That best friend that you have in your life right now, the first day that you met them, did you call them your best friend? Probably 99.9% of you said no. And that 1% probably just wants to say yes, just to disagree. So with that said, what I have to be honest with you about here, and I want to break it down is because the reason why you didn't choose for this person to be your best friend since day one was because you had to see this person and if you can trust them, right? And also see what else, if your values were aligned, if there's similarities, if you felt comfort around them, if you know they were there for you in the times that you needed to be there for you, they needed to be there for you and you vice versa. It takes time. This is balance. But what we do is we expect external, which we can call friendships, families, to meet our expectations. But once we get that feeling of someone is going to comfort me, someone is going to show me that minute of affection, someone is going to be there for me where I don't feel lonely, we dismiss and we get imbalanced in our emotions and we get imbalanced in our interest, right? So what's really important is to show interest, but with balance, the same thing like you did with your friend, you took time to get to know this person. You showed interest here and there, but you still went about your own life as well. And you didn't forget about that. This is the type of seduction that women crave. This is a key point of seduction, men. This is why this video is going on because I'm trying to give you lengthy, in, lengthy, excuse me, in depth, com, in depth, really knowledge and, and, and understanding how we process things and also to, to benefit from you for you too. Now, the next thing in regards to the type of seduction that women crave is, is be intentional with your needs and understand and remember certain things. So for example, let's say you're on a date, right? And she says, I don't know, I'll give you the most easiest example. My birthday is next week on Saturday and you totally forget about her birthday. You don't send her a birthday text or a call or a card or whatever. Okay. Or let's just say she says that she's so scared of heights, but you plan a date and it's rock climbing. And she's like, I just told you I was scared of heights. You didn't warn me. You didn't do anything. It shows that you're not um, remembering certain things. And women love when a man can remember certain things. So also with tip number two and tip number one, remember certain things, but be intentional too to her needs, right? So intentional too means like I'm intentional because listen, I would love to do rock climbing with you but I know you're scared of heights. This is a phone call or, you know, face-to-face -face conversation you're having, but I know you're scared into heights. So I want to make sure that this is something you don't want to do. And if not, or you do want to do, and if not, you let me know. I kind of wanted to try it out with you and see if we can test, you know, test your limits. So now you're being intentional. Unintentional means you planned the date, you surprised her and it was rock climbing and you totally forgot that she was scared of heights. This shows that you are not remembering certain things. So you're not present as well. This creates a safeness for women. 
When women know that a man can hold emotional support for us and remember our wants, our needs, our fears, our desires, we can look at him as the masculine man because we looked at him as the protector internally and instinctively. And that's like so, so important for you guys to understand. Now, I'm not saying a woman shouldn't do the same thing for you, but I'm here helping you guys as well. And this is stuff that you should look for within a woman as well when it comes to nurturing things. How does she nurture you? How does she bring you up? What is her behavior? Which I have plenty of videos about. Next thing in regards to the type of seduction that women crave is you show confidence with your body language, okay? And you make sure she is comfortable, right? Okay, so you don't have to be on a date and say, are you comfortable? I just wanna make sure you're comfortable. Like, of course not, right? You Guys, you gotta pick up and get better at if you're not. You have to get good at social cues, right? Social cues are so, so important. And once you have social cues, and understand them, this is a freaking game changer, guys. It's literally like no one has to talk to you and you already know the answer by body language. So what's really important here is showing confidence. There is a difference. I, I remember, um, and I did a video and I'll put it up in the cards if it's ready. It's with Jeremy Fragrance. And one of the things that I told him in regards to his a way he charisma, his charisma is he opened, he's very good with body language. He is not in shame to put himself out there, embarrass himself and do whatever he wants by dancing. He doesn't even think it's embarrassing because it's his personality and he owns it. So that is one of the things that I talk about in the video and I'll put it up here in the cards, but body language is so important guys. And body language is just not how you put your shoulders back and stand. It's how you articulate yourself, how your voice is being articulated too. If you are very monotone all the time, give spikes in your voice, show interest, engage in eye contact, but being comfortable with your own body. So if you need to, if you need help with body language, there's a bunch of activities that do help you. But big, the biggest thing I always say to you guys, you are your own teacher in life. And you, there's people that can help you give you the tools and provide you the lessons. But unless you go ahead and work on it and teach yourself the lessons that they're providing you, you are not going to get anywhere unless you do do this. So what I'm saying and why I say this is because if you suffer and you're kind of confused and you kind of come off quirky with your body language and you're like timid about it and you're not shy and you're very shy about it and you're awkward and you're not confident really about your body language, the type of things that I have clients do are probably outrageous to some, but two of the things that I would recommend for you on this, just in this video, unless you do a coaching session with me, I can actually help you with this is you have to make sure you step out of your bubble. First thing is doing Toastmasters, doing public speaking classes. You don't have to become a public sleeper, speaker, but you are here to get out of your comfort zone. And the second thing is acting classes. Wow. Does acting classes get you out of your bubble? Like, I've done it. It was the hardest thing for me because I'm not good at faking someone I'm not, but also too, like you, it, it's incredible of the amount of training that you have to do with your mindset to get into a certain role. And this is what I'm talking about. And this is what helps you develop and get more comfortable in your own skin. If you want to take things to the next level and you have a specific woman in your life that you've built trust and comfort with, I encourage you to download my how to escalate cheat sheet, which is very, very pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> I give you so many techniques, games, skills, one-liners, things to say to get women to escalate with you and get that opportune moment to really get to connect in that level with her. So in these tips, I'm going to give you tactics and what women think. Number one is you always want to smile and give eye contact. Duh. I mean, this is pretty easy, right? But let me explain here. A lot of times when a guy will approach us, we don't see him coming. He'll approach us from behind or something like that. Always be aware that you're somewhat making us eye contact with this woman or smiling, especially if you're passing each other by the street, let's just say. Maybe she didn't realize who you were or didn't see you, that's okay. But somewhat of a smile and eye contact is very important in the approach which we're gonna go into. Tip number two is there's nothing wrong with saying this line. I hear so many people saying something like, oh, this is too, um, what's the word I'm looking for? This is too cliche, it's too original. But like, I don't know why in this industry we're taught to like do all these random like pickup lines and give you 20 pickup lines and think that this is gonna work. I do believe certain pickup lines work, just stick to one or two of them, but it doesn't have to be that intense. So number two is just come up to a woman and say something like, I just wanted to come over here and tell you dot, 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 dot. 
So for example, what you can say is, I just wanted to come over here and tell you that you really caught my eye. My name is perfect. You've already got your opening and I'm going to go into opening and a little bit of rejection in this video as well. Tip number three, understand personal space. And when you approach a woman, the technique that you have to do to make her feel somewhat comfortable in that initiation stage is back away. So when you approach a woman, you're like the first, let's just say you did the first thing is I just wanted to come over here and tell you, you caught my eye. My name is Eric. Now you're going to back away a little bit because you're not, don't you want to show her that you're not entering your personal, her personal space. One tactic that I teach in my how to approach uh, product is to make sure that your uh, legs are kind of like an L when you approach a woman, because it shows that you're not directly in her circle and her personal space, that you have an option to walk away or stay. So you always picture when you stand and you approach a woman and you back away, put your feet in the L because of the fact that you don't want to go into her personal space because the first thing a woman is thinking when you approach her is either how long am I going to have to talk to this guy or two, is he crazy or is he going to hurt me, right? Because as women, that's our automatic defense as a woman. And that's our automatic guard that has been inherited in us as well. So you don't want to also get touchy with a woman as well. When you do approach her early on, you don't want to, Oh, you're so funny. Ha ha. And you talk to her and you touch her, um, arms and things like that. This is not what you want to do. You're just approaching and conversating in the first, anywhere from the first 30 seconds to the first two minutes. Okay, guys. Now the next tip, tip number four, be aware of your tonality and your facial expressions, right? So there's a difference between saying a sentence like I like healthy food, let's just say, okay. Or, and you want to say it in a more compassionate way or a more loving way. You know, I really love healthy food. That's different. Or you want to say it maybe in an angry way. I hate healthy food. Do you see the facial expressions? are completely different. I can even say I love healthy, healthy food. I love healthy food. Do you see how it's so different because your tonality and your facial expressions are different? So what I'm saying, I said, I love healthy food, but it was really confusing when I said that because it looked like I really didn't. I was angry, you know? So here's the thing is tonality and facial expressions is so, so important guys. And when we approach women, this, and when you approach women, excuse me, this is something that we pay attention to because it also shows confidence in my, how to approach product. I actually give you activities to do, to start to change this. If you struggle with it, or if you don't even know if you're doing the tonality and facial expressions the right way. Tip number five is learn environment tactics when you pick up or when you talk to women and engage with them and then learn how to push forward. Okay. This is a lot here guys. So let me explain a little bit in regards to the environment pickup. Let's just say that you're somewhere that every common person probably goes to in the United States, at least and in the other the country, but Starbucks, and you see a cute girl in line, let's just say, for example, and she's standing right behind you and you're like, okay, do you want to talk to this girl? All right. We'll turn around and say, wow, environment tactics. You're picking up on the environment in the coffee shop. You're talking to her about something in the coffee shop. This is environment tactic. I even ask a question as well. And you turn around and you look at her and you say, you know, I come here all the time and I always have gotten the same coffee for the past five years. And today I'm feeling a little daring. Do you have any recommendations of some good coffee? What do you typically get? Bam. Environment, talking, you get her and engage automatically with you. And this is where you can read her body language and you can crack some jokes here and there. You can talk and you can get her to engage. Well, you know, she can say something like, I really do like the white chocolate mocha. Oh, okay. But isn't that a holiday, a holiday cafe or a latte, whatever you want to call it. And she says, she'll engage and you say, no. Okay. Well, wonderful. Now engage a little bit more with her, right? So the conversation you want to do is pick up on something that she's saying, right? Yeah. I come here all the time too. I'm a big coffee drinker and blah, blah, blah. Since when have you been a big coffee drinker? I've been a coffee drinker since I was like 10 years old. How about you? Wow. 10 years old. That's so long ago. That's been, that's such an early age to drink coffee. I started when I was about 20 in college, when I was in college. Oh really? What did you go to college for? Guys, engage, pick up on the cues. What I always say is pick up on that one word, question her, because this is how you push forward with a woman. You're not standing, staying on the coffee. Do you see how quick I did that in a conversation with my own self? We got away from coffee right away, right? So this is the point guys is environment 
engage, and push forward. Push forward is picking up on those little cues that the girl talks about. So then you can engage. Now the conversation gets a little bit more interesting to her. Okay. You're not going to interrogate her because at that point she'll somewhat ask you those questions. If you see some interest going through there, I also teach you how a girl can give you the number in my, how to approach product. And this is something that I walk you through guys. So tip number six, do not make her jump through a hoop early on. Okay. So (laughs) this is something that I see so much. Like a guy tries to escalate early on in the first like two to three minutes. And I'm like, no, what are you doing? We can't do this. Right. Because of the fact that she hasn't built the trust or comfort for you just in this amount of time, you're only tactic right now. Your only responsibility is to make this woman feel comfortable that you are not a serial killer, that you are a guy that is just a normal guy wanting to have a conversation with this woman. That's your only responsibility at this point. I'm going to give you an example of what I mean of what what one of my clients did. Um, one of the women that he was talking to, for example, asked him, where are you from? And his response was, well, where does it look like I'm from? Okay. You do not make her jump through hoops early on because she is giving you time to talk to her guys right now. So immediately she's going to be like, gosh, this is so lame when a guy says this to you because she doesn't want to jump through hoops. You are the one that's talking to her. When she starts jumping through your hoops is when we get her to the attraction stage on a date. And that's what I talk about on my how to escalate cheat sheet guys. So that is so, so important is we do not let a woman jump through hoops or we do not want her to jump through hoops early on in the approach stage. Tip number seven is you have to push forward what some may call stack forward and do not have this Barbara Walter technique guys. Barbara Walter technique means you're not stacking forward. So for instance, my last example where she was like, oh yeah, I started drinking coffee when I was 20 years old in college. Oh, what college did you go to? That's the example of stocking forward. And a sample of Barbara Walters is, oh yeah, so I started drinking coffee when I was 20 years old. Oh, cool. So where are you from? So what do you like to do? So what's your favorite color? Are you single? Do you see what I mean? Like they have no relevance behind what the organic conversation is happening here. And this is what a lot of men do when they get nervous and they don't understand the technique behind approaching and talking to women. Tip number eight is do not try to make a woman stay. You can learn from the rejection and learn from what you might have done wrong in your approaches and understand that when you approach women, it doesn't mean it's supposed to go your way every single time. We got to release the attachment and not be outcome oriented because a lot of people will tell men stay there no matter what. And I am not a big believer in that because as a woman, when a, when a guy does that, It just puts a really bad taste in my mouth and it just does not work for me. And I do believe that if a woman is trying to walk away, do not make her stay with you. Meaning like, oh wait, hold on, hold on. Let's just talk for five more minutes. No, don't do that. If she is showing you and she's not interested or she wants to pull away, let her pull away, pick up on the signal, shake her hand. It was nice talking to you. I had a great conversation. You have amazing, amazing charisma about yourself. You carry yourself really well as a woman. Have a wonderful day. Bam. You just walked away with integrity guys. All right. You controlled that situation. All right. Tip number nine is conscious vulnerability, which a lot of people will call the ability to emote, but I like to call this conscious vulnerability because of the fact that we are being honest, authentic, but also we are being conscious enough to not to think that if we share vulnerability, we are getting something from this person. And this is a tactic that I share with my guys that are really introverted, really shy, um, really like throw up before they talk to women, which I've seen so much before. And I've had to coach them through this. Um, I don't do a lot of infield anymore. I do more of the product because I show a lot in my product because I've noticed that this right here is all you need guys. Um, and I really, really do encourage you to look at this product because it's literally the keys of picking up women from a woman, from a woman, excuse me. So one of the best things that you understand here is conscious vulnerability is really significant to guys that are ultimately shy and so nervous that they feel like they're going to faint, pass out or throw up. It happens. Now, one of the biggest things that I have had guys do before is actually go up to a girl and tell them that they were shy. 
And it actually does the opposite and makes a woman stay with you because she feels bad. Now, key thing here is it does not help with attraction, but it does give you the ability to emote and ability to show vulnerability and be in the present moment with her and then get you to scale higher to break the nerves. So what I typically teach guys and what I talk about in my how to approach product is to be honest and say something like, I'm a little nervous right now approaching you, but I'm trying to get better with approaching women and approaching people because I'm really, really shy. And the woman's going to react and be like, wow, that's so amazing. Oh, like those type of stuff. Now the all, oh, yeah, I get it guys, but we're going to build from attraction from there. And that's what I teach you in the product as well. So that is one technique that you can use if you are a very shy, introverted guy. Next tip is the best tip of them all. Tip number 10 is positively misinterpret shit test, right? So if you're engaging with a girl and this could be anywhere at a bar, this can be not even how to approach. This can be used in daily tactics with men, women, people, coworkers, everything. Let's say for example, someone says, Oh my God, that shirt is so ugly. Why do you, did you even wear that shirt? Oh, really? I love this shirt. My God, my grandmother got this for me like 10 years ago. And I just wear it all the time because it reminds me of her. You just made that person feel like shit. So you see what I mean? Like you always have to positively misinterpret, especially when someone shit tests you because it's like as though it went over your head, you don't care, it didn't bother your emotions and literally you're standing integrity and integrity and you don't care what that other person is saying, meaning or thinks about you. So I don't want you to misinterpret what an emotional connection means because I see men doing this a lot. Building an emotional connection does not mean that you just do whatever the woman wants and you send roses and you pick up every call, even when you're busy and give her everything in the beginning and show her that you are amazing. Absolutely not. This is what kills attraction and emotional connection is built from integrity and also time. So let me break down some ways an emotional connection is built with a woman. An emotional connection is built with sexual desire, yes, but also with a man holding himself with integrity and going after what he wants without being too direct and overbearing. This means escalating when you're supposed to and pacing yourself when you get to know a woman. Pacing yourself will be your best friend. Let me give you some examples of how to escalate and then we're going to get into some more examples on how to pace yourself and the integrity part of building an emotional connection with a woman. Here is how you escalate with women. You can ask them things and be flirtatious and this is how you sexually escalate to see if she is accepting and attracted to you. You can say things like this. I see the way you're looking at me. Be careful with those eyes because you speak loud and clear of what you want. Or you can say something like this. Are you flirting with me? Because I'm getting the idea you're flirting with me. Or you're, you can say something like this. You are going to be lots of trouble. Or you can say something like this. Don't do that with your lips. She'll ask why and you'll suddenly say, you know why. I talk a lot about this in my authentic attraction boot camps. So I invite you to download my ebook called the seven common mistakes men make when attracting a woman. So then you can be notified also when my boot camps start. I'll also put the description link below in this video. Now moving on, you can ask questions around sexuality and if she is reciprocating, this means attraction is being built. It does not automatically mean that she is ready to just jump in bed with you. Like I said, you have to learn how to slowly initiate and be subtle. When a man can master this, it gets the woman thinking about you when she gets home. And this is one part of the way you get her to think about you nonstop. This is the power of attraction. Once you do this, then you build more on the emotional component and show the woman you can shift a couple things, right? So you just actually escalated sexually. You're pacing yourself and you're getting to know her. Now you're bringing in more of the emotional component. The emotional component is not sending her flowers every waking minute and trying to live a romance novel. No. 
So especially if you want her to be more committed to you, you want to build this emotional connection. You start by having a connection and then remembering specific things and bringing them up later. So specific things about her and bringing them up later. The emotional connection is not built on you asking the right questions as if she is being tested, but it means opening up space for the both of you and for her to ask you some questions as well. But it does not stop there. And this is where men get a little confused. You know, they constantly think that they have to build this dialogue through text, but no. Occasionally by phone, but more of this has to happen face to face. How a woman makes a decision emotionally on how she wants to be with you is by sexual desire, mystery, integrity of a man and of herself, and balance. Since I broke down the sexual desire part, let's talk about the mystery. You know, it's not games. You can't fake being busy as this comes off inauthentically. But being aligned with your purpose, but yet understanding that you aren't all in and you don't have to try and do all in your power to impress her. You show up and you're available here and there, but you're subtle in the ways you choose to show up and you don't overextend yourself to make her want you. And this comes off from the energy that you created, which leads me to number three integrity. How you see yourself every day as a man, the true men that master this and don't stay single for long are the ones that stand up with integrity and nothing more or nothing less. The definition of integrity is the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles, moral uprightness. Once you have this, you create a balance that naturally draws a woman to you and you build that with sexual desire and the right type of mystery comes naturally along the process. If you want to know more about this, I invite you to sign up for my in-person boot camps or, or schedule a coaching session one-on-one -on -one with me. I will provide you with the links of the things that I mentioned in this video below. I love to hear from you. I love to share your comments, questions, and concerns. Give this video a thumbs up and share this video with anybody that can use it. As always, I'll see you again in the next video. And remember, you are always loved. If you're looking for more incredible content that will change your life in dating and relationships, check out this video right over here. This is absolutely made for you. And also too, don't forget to download this free ebook down below. It's my seven common mistake ebook that men make when attracting women in dating and relationships. And I have it specially for you. See you in the next video.